Cubit Luminarium has been an exciting addition for downtown Omaha. The museum opened in April and so did the new restaurant inside. Yes, it is called Fig. It's an all day cafe that specializes in fresh made from scratch food. Now Fig offers breakfast, lunch, even a happy hour, Zach. The owners already have a popular restaurant in Dundee and that's how they were selected to be the official restaurant along the riverfront. A visit to the Luminarium could stimulate your brain and your appetite. Omaha has been hungry for this museum to open. That's what FIG co-owner Claire Watson Bartolome's counting on. We are the only place to eat or drink on the riverfront um, with great views of the river and the new parks. The name is a play off the museum and science. So when you read a scientific paper and you see like Fig one, like figure one, figure two, when they're showing you graphs and pictures. So that's why it's fig with the period. She and her partners also own Lola's Cafe, but they say fig has its own identity. We like to say that it's related to Lola's. This menu is designed for people discovering the newly opened parks and museum. We want to be approachable for whoever's going to walk in, whether you just want a pastry and a coffee to sit here or the ladies who lunch, whatever that may be. We've I want to be that. Yeah. <laughs> can I be Come that? Come have a glass of wine. <laughs> you can get everything from a juicy burger to this sweet and spicy salmon and plenty of pastries. Oh, they love the citrus cake and the banana bread, the Lola's chocolate chip cookies. What's your favorite item on the menu? I love the hummus bowl. Chef Natalie Rutten showed me that bowl, which, by the way, is a fig favorite. So we have our in-house roasted sweet potatoes. We have pickled beets that we pickle in-house, quinoa. This is gonna be a cabbage that we thinly slice here and then toss in our lemon vinaigrette that we make. Okay. Under the bread here, you can't really see it, but we have our shredded chicken Ooh, tossed good. in a tahini vinaigrette. And then our hummus, it's one of the best hummuses I've ever had, oh, so yeah. yes. It also comes with sliced baguettes. All of our bread comes from Lola's, right right there, Lo Lola's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All of our buns. Their burger is just as popular. It's made with two Morgan Ranch beef patties, one slice of white cheddar cheese, and all your favorite toppings. The best part may be the pillowy pandemie bun. It's delicious. You can't beat that. No, can't no. Beat I it. love a good grilled bun. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> then there's the breakfast sandwich. It is modeled after this uh, New York City uh, egg sandwich that you'd get in all the carts. Mm -hmm. Sort of designed to take into the park and walk with it. Natalie scrambled two fresh farm eggs. I like to give it a good scramble so it cooks more evenly. Added white cheddar cheese and bacon on top, then put it in the oven. See how fluffy it gets? Oh wow, it does. Finally, the crispy skin salmon. It's served under a creamy corn custard and topped with their house-made succotash. I sat down with Claire again to talk and taste. Um, we have been told by some that this might be the best burger in Omaha. What? <laughs> now that is a few people's opinion. I'm not putting it out there. Well, it's not a throwdown. I think button. you just did. I think you just did. Well, you know what? You just opened the door. So let's right. start. Let's start with this burger, which may or may not be. One of you tell me. Best in you Omaha. tell me. I'll tell you. Look at that. I mean, that's a good. That's a good sign right there. This burger mm, mm, could be a contender. That bread takes it to a whole new level, though. I didn't think we could top the burger until I bit into that breakfast sandwich. Oh, this isn't just like a regular bacon, egg, and cheese. I love this sandwich. I love this sandwich. After trying the hummus bowl and the salmon. Oh, wow. I'm a fan. Something sweet. So this is a gluten-free sweet potato butternut almond cake. It's light, it's fluffy, it's moist. It's, it's all the makings of an amazing cake. Oh, that's delightful. I could say that for the entire cafe. And of course, this view. The riverfront is now a destination. The Luminarium is a destination. Is the Fig Cafe a, a destination? It should be. I sure hope so, yeah. <laughs>
make it a destination. Trust me, Fig is on 345 Riverfront Drive. It's open every day during the week at 10, 9 a.m. on the weekends. The cafe closes late on Thursdays because the museum has adults only night until 10. Did you guys know that? Yeah. There's also a kids menu. It has cheeseburgers, grilled cheese, chicken strips, all the things kids love. Plus, they have grab and go items that have that breakfast sandwich that I showed you, hummus snacks, pasta salads, drinks. To see all FIG has to offer, and it's a lot, you can go to FIGOmaha.com. You should know this, though. They have their own entrance. It's on the south side by that Discovery Playground. And you don't have to go to the museum to go to the yeah. restaurant. To yeah, a lot of people thought, yeah, so you don't have to purchase a ticket or anything at all. I'll tell you what, you saying that burger's a contender. This isn't just oh. anybody saying the burger's a right. contender. Well, no She's had a lot of Omaha there was burgers. Talk about it. And so when I took a bite, I'm like, you know what? It should be in the conversation. I honestly, I mean, it's it's not even seven o'clock yet. I want the burger. Same. You want the burger. I want the and burger. And I want or that the, breakfast. I was gonna say, you fly by. We need to make okay? a run. Let's, let's get let's <laughs> get it right. done. <laughs> we'll stay with us, folks.